Hi, uh, my name is Victor. I work here at Visa, and today we're going to go over this developer platform and how to connect to the VDP. This first app we're going to create uses something that's called two-way SSL. So two-way SSL is the um, security method that Visa uses. It basically does um, SSL handshake twice, once with the server and once with the client. And for that reason, you need to have uh, certificates installed on your client. This is where we create the app, so let's do that. Uh, we try to make it easy for you and um, created an option of uh, generating certificate and the private key for you. So you basically have to select, when you try this for the first time, go ahead and select default option and um, and uh, we will do most of the work for you, so it's a little bit easier. So go ahead and create your first app. Uh, so notice this here offers you to save your private key. This is really important. Go ahead and make sure that your private key is saved. Now we can continue. And let's take a look at our app. So um, everything you need to get connected is right here. So private key you already have saved. This right here is the certificate. And you also have the username and the password. Before you can use um, any of the tools to try and test your connectivity, you need to combine your private key and your certificate into one file uh, that's called key store. Uh, there is a special tool for that called OpenSSL. Uh, if you're a Mac user, OpenSSL is already pre-installed on your system. So you can check it out by opening a terminal and typing in OpenSSL. So see this here is already pre-installed. If you're a Windows user, you may want to go to OpenSSL.org and download it from there. So another tool we are going to use is called SOAP UI. So go ahead and download that. This is uh, the web service test connectivity tool. Uh, fairly straightforward to use, and it's also free. It's an open source project. So uh, probably the easiest way to test your connectivity is through this tool. Once you have both of those installed, and we now have our username and password, and you also now want to download your certificate. Here it is. Go ahead and save it. Notice that this particular browser I'm using offered to actually save the files. This is the kind of browser that you want to use for that. Some browsers uh, actually try to open those cert and give you the text version of them. Typically, that causes problems. So uh, if you see something like that on your browser, try to switch another to another browser. It's just going to be a little easier. And I'm going to move both files, both key and the certificates, into the same folder just for convenience. And let's run the OpenSSL command that combines the cert and the key into a key store. If you browse to our Getting Started Guide, you will see that uh, everything is explained in a great deal of detail. Uh, this particular line tells you how to combine the key and the search into a key store. So I happen to have uh, this command already available in my command history, so let's just run it. Uh, make sure that you call your keys and your cert file names correctly. So in this case, uh, my key file name is key my test app 2 and my cert name is just cert.pm. So let's run the command. Uh, it offers you to create a password. Go ahead and do that. Uh, type in anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to use test and test. Uh, but be sure to remember the password. You will use it later. 
So we're now ready to get into SOAP UI. Once you've downloaded SOAP UI and opened it, this is what it's gonna look like. So go ahead and create a new project. Uh, we're gonna want to use our Hello World app, which is the easiest app on BDP. It doesn't have any inputs or outputs. So uh, our purpose here is to test the connectivity and that's exactly what you want. You want it as simple as possible. This is the URI for the Hello World app. It's also available on the, in the Getting Started guide. So click OK. Uh, so SOAP UI create the sample project for us. Uh, the only thing that's missing is our credentials. So we're going to introduce, um, so we're going to add the username, the password, and the certificate. Let's start with the certificate. So preferences, SSL setup. We're just going to simply browse to the file we created. This is our key store. Okay. And this is where you want to type in the password you've created for it. In my case, it was just test. Be sure to check requires client authentication. This is what actually makes the two-way SSL happen. So click OK. And save preferences. The last thing that we need here is to add the uh, username and password. This is done through um, HTTP basic auth. So let's go ahead and add new basic authorization. And see, this is where SOAP UI is kind of convenient. It just gives you a couple fields where you can copy and paste the username and password. So go back to um, go back to your application. This is the username. Uh, copy it here. This is the password. Copy it over here. And this is pretty much everything that we have to have. Um, we have our certificate, we have our key, we have our username, our password. You want to make sure that you uh, tick authenticate preemptively because that will make uh, the HTTP basic auth uh, actually work. So um, let's go ahead and run it. So it came back and here is the success message. If you see hello world and the timestamp, that means that you've executed this connection successfully. It means that your uh, username works, your password is good, and also, most importantly, your key store is created correctly. So that's it. That's all you have to do to get connected to this developer platform. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us, developer at visa.com.